Hello and welcome to Webgility Online version 6. My name is Colin Cates and I'm a product manager here at Webgility. This short video will guide you through the user interface updates we've made in this release. I'll explain what we've changed based on your feedback and how to access all the areas that you're familiar with. First, we've completely overhauled the dashboard to simplify and provide better access to only the most commonly used areas and data. At the top left, you'll see a trend of revenue and expenses that have been collected by Webgility for the sales channel. To the right appears an estimated average order value trend before landed costs. The bottom half of your dashboard will show your latest individual orders or batches of orders if you're configured to consolidate or summarize your sales. Click on any of these date ranges of sales to pre-filter or show more to view all of your orders. We've merged all of your transaction pages together, so if you choose to manually sync orders, refunds, or fees, the pages are co-located for simple navigation. For users with more than one sales channel, you'll be able to easily switch between channels at the top right on any page in the application. The left navigation has been grouped into syncing and activity pages like transactions, products, and analytics, and configuration pages grouped for your sync settings, automation, and connections. Let's look at products. As with transactions, if you're mapping, creating, or syncing products, all of these pages have been co-located for easier access. Analytics remains unchanged and will display statistics for all of your sales channels connected. It can be found directly below your product section on the left navigation. Moving to the configuration section of the left navigation, we've consolidated all of your automation settings for the channel to a single page. Remember, if you're doing any of these actions manually and you've tested everything out to your liking, you can always enable automation here. Connections can be found below automation and remain the same. Visit the page to add new sales channels, adjust sales channel settings like order download or product settings, or add an expense provider like a payment source or a shipping service. Finally, we'll backtrack to your configuration settings for the channel. As with many other pages, we've co-located these pages to make all settings easier to access and adjust when adding a new channel or updating your process for an old channel. Many data nodes used for the sync have been updated with detailed tooltip information to clarify and help assist in understanding how the data is linked from your sales channel through to the accounts and products. Version 6 also brings an important feature addition in journal entry posting for all sales channels with QuickBooks Online. Stay tuned for a separate video on summary journal entry accounting sync. Thanks for following along with me today and keep sending your feedback.